Hey Paul, it's Josh. I just thought I'd give you a tour of accessing a million row database. So I've got a tool uh, free called uh, SQL uh, Pro. SQL Pro, there it is. Fire that up. And you can download it. It's totally free. Totally free. Uh, you can go to Google SQL Pro. You can find it here. There you go. Nice website. Beautiful. Looks good. Just go and download it. Totally free. Okay, great. So I've configured a server here uh, for demo purposes. I'm just going to connect to it remotely. It's out there on the internet. And then it shows me this. And it shows the database. I've made uh, a database called BigTable, which surprisingly is pretty big. So um, this database here in particular has 10 million rows. You can see right here, rows, it's 10 million. It doesn't know exactly because it's so big, but it's 10 million rows. And I've um, uh, creatively named the columns for the letters of the alphabet A to Z. Okay? And then I've populated the database with random numbers because I'm very creative. And um, I'm showing, you can see we're looking at 1 to 1,000. So you can really quickly go to the database. Um, it says here that the database is 1.4 gigs, but that's just the data. But I've indexed every single column. So the actual database size is 8 gigs. So it's an 8 gig database, but 1.4 gigs of data. And you can page through the uh, database. You can see here I'm going I'm going a thousand rows at a time. So I'm just paging through. Um, or if you want, you can skip ahead to a particular. So we could skip ahead 500. I think, I think is that possible? 5400. I don't know if that's possible. Loading page 5400, but we'll see. See what happens. Um, it is a big database, and it is, of course, working over the internet. So, um, but I, you know, that's a lot. It's a lot of data that we're going through. There we go. So yeah, so we just we skipped ahead five million records in whatever less than a minute. That's pretty fast. Uh, but now let's do a search. So let's just take, say this. No, let's be a little bit more interesting. Let's take it from, say, let's take this number right here. So that's in the T column. Okay. And then let's go all the way to the beginning. So we're going to jump to page one. Okay, so we're going to go back. Look at that. We just went back five million rows in the blink of a second. And we're going to search, um, I think it was column T. We're going to search column T for that field, right? That value. So we're going to click search, and boom, it found it out of 10 million records. It found it like that. Okay? But we can be trickier. Let's say, let's wonder if there's a record that has a 1 in it. Let's see. Nope, nothing matches that. But maybe we want to find values that are um, between this big. Let me go like between. Uh, go between this big and this big. Okay? Or put a 1, and it'll show us all those records. And it's searching the T column for values in that range. And it's pretty fast uh, for a database. So how many rows did it find? Oh, obviously it found more than 1,000. So it's showing us 1,000 records at a time. So, so what I thought I'd do is um, I'd do a sort now. So we found. She would tell us how many. I don't know how to tell you how many records it's found. Um, right now, I, I have no idea. But uh, what would be interesting now is to sort that set. So we're going to sort the records that we found. And again, this is normally a very time-consuming operation because you're working on a subset of the database and then you're filtering on a given column, so it has to look at all the data. So. Let's see what it comes up with. So we're filtering on column T, and we're sorting on column A. So we just have to wait a little bit for uh, the, yep, 
So just so you know, the server, um, the server that I'm connecting to is, I think, in LA. So we have a we rent server space in a data center in, L in LA, and obviously my machine is here in Vancouver. So um, it's a similar similar scenario. So you could host uh, your database um, in Vancouver, or we could host it in LA. Um, we also uh, we sometimes use a data center in New York. Um, uh, if you know if that would be helpful to you, but uh, we're just waiting for this uh, sort to take place. Obviously, it's a big sort, so you may not want to work on. But I think how big is that set? We can find out how big that set is. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. Uh, one, one, two, four, eight, four, six, two, eight, one, two, three, minus four. Four six two eight one. Is that ten million? That's a hundred million. How is that possible? A hundred. Oh, so we're just fine. Oh, that's numbers between hundred million. That's not necessarily rows. So anyway, this is killing the killing the database. It's too too many records in that data set. So I guess when you're dealing with the lesson is when you're dealing with uh, records with 10 million rows, uh, you shouldn't do that. So I'm just going to stop it. That's too much. That's too much. Um, okay, so let's do another uh, demonstration. Uh, let's find this one. So the idea was how quickly it can find records. And let's get rid of this filter. This. Oh, it's doing the sort, the A sort. Okay. Um, I guess the A sort is fast because we're not doing a filter. So anyway, I think that was in the A column. Is that in the A column? Yeah. So oh, I was finding ID. It's very fast. I think it was actually in the A column that we were doing that. Yeah, there it is. So finding individual values in the database is quite fast. That's what are the odds of finding that, right? Uh, maybe is there a like? Impossible? No? Okay. Um, so yeah, basically that's the demo. Um, we've looked at finding, we've looked at uh, searching. Oh, uh, oh, index size is 4.9 gigs. So, so five. So it's like 6.4 gigs, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, that's the database uh, demo. Thank you very much, and have a great day. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks. Talk to you later.